Hello guys, my name is Desmond, well known as Dish. So today we'll be looking at exam paper of 2017 uh, for grade 11. So in this lesson, I'll be answering and solving questions where I'll be teaching and training you on how to uh, analyze given statements, diagrams in relation to given questions. And most importantly, guys, I'll also be providing you with the necessary tips specifically for this question. And in addition, I'll also be providing you guys with exam tips to use when attempting other exam papers. And as always, in the end of this lesson, I'll, I'll show you how and where you score full marks. Okay, so without any waste of time, I think we should get started. So, um, we are given a statement of which I'll quickly go through uh, for question three. So the statement reads as follows. A, which is in brackets, the X value negative two and the y value negative five, B, C, and D are the vertices of quadrilateral A, B, C, and D, such that diagonal AC is perpendicular to diagonal BD at point T. So the equation of BTD is given by 2y plus x as equals to 18 and a b as equals to 15 units so as you can see guys i've drawn a that diagram that we're given so i've also tried to use different colors as i always do so that uh, somehow you find this lesson much easier so as you can see I've got I'll just do a legend a legend so as you can see we've got a red pen which represents the a uh, Cartesian plane I hope you can hear uh, what I'm saying so I won't I won't write it full I'll just say Cartesian plane in that way. So we've got another um, a blue pen which represents, let's say, a straight line. It represents a straight line. We also have a black pen which also represents a straight line. So I'm just going to a uh, explain this diagram before we start with the questions so that you've got an idea of what's going on and again i think with this explanation it will also boost your understanding with regards to uh, this chapter of geometries so i've got a cartesian plane in red as you can see this is the y axis and this is the x axis so that means these straight lines are actually drawn on this Cartesian plane of X and Y axis. So remember, as we read from the question, they said we've got, let me see, A, a B, C, and D, which are the vertices of quadrilateral A, B, C, and D. So I think... You guys, uh, you've got a better understanding of uh, what a quadrilateral is. One of the characteristics of a quadrilateral is the fact that it has four sides. So we've got, let's refer to this as our first side, which is from A to B. And then we've got B to C, which, which is our second side. And then we've got C to D and d to a can you see it has four sides one two three 
four and we obviously have um some straight line straight lines drawn within the quadrilateral uh, diagram so you've got from a to b you've got a straight line it's also given a formula which is 2y plus x is equal to 18 so don't don't be intimidated by this formula it's just a formula for a straight line but then it's not written in the standard form so you can just rewrite it in the standard form so that you are able to see a uh, what is the y intercept there and also what is the gradient of that straight line so there's additional information given to say at that point t that's where you've got another line which is a to c a crossing b and d and at that point you've got a 90 degree angle which simply means that line is perpendicular to that line or this line is perpendicular to that line and it forms a 90 degree angle there and um, this information guys i think as we continue with this question you will realize um where you use that information and how important it is for them to indicate to, to us that at that point you've got a 90 degree angle so that point there where those two lines intersect is referred to as point t and you've got your o there you can either refer to it as o or zero but it simply refers to the origin that point there where the y and the x axis intercepts which is zero at that point and again the other information that we're given is that from a to b a, you've got a length of 15 units so this is almost all the information that was given in the statement i'm not sure if there's something that i've forgotten to mention but otherwise guys uh, so far you just need to have a good understanding of the information that i've just indicated i was actually browsing through what we already given on the statement so uh, i'm just trying to think if there's any additional information that i think it might worth mentioning before we start with our questions but otherwise i've tried to make this as simple as possible so from my experience guys i've noticed that you can analyze the given diagram as much as you can but you'll only develop a better understanding as you solve some questions so i obviously don't need to talk much about the coordinates of a guys it's given you can see which means a uh, this point is where the x is negative 2 and where it's negative 5 so i'm pretty much sure that as we go along with this question you will have a better understanding but for now i think we can just leave it there for now and get ready to start with the first question so i'll just do a separate video for that and then from there um i think that's where you will learn more so just make sure to watch uh, from the first question until the uh, the last question because um i've got i've got you know so many tips to provide especially when it comes to this chapter um uh, it will actually depend on how complex are the questions but from from what i've noticed they are not they are not allocated a lot of marks but still uh, regardless of how how small the uh, the marks are I will still surely provide those tips uh, that I've got. So, without any waste of time, guys, let's now move to uh, question 3.1.